Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Stamp and Chat. I am Gina Kay, and I would like to welcome everybody from all over the United States and all over the world joining us tonight here for this live event. Well, tonight is Tom's birthday. Well, it actually was all day. And uh, we decided to do our live and just have a little bit of fun with you guys for his birthday. So uh, welcome to everyone. Now we did give Tom a microphone. He's got a camera now. It's pretty exciting around here. You should have seen us trying to figure it out over the weekend. We don't know what's gonna happen. The whole thing might blow up, but if it does, you guys will hang in there and we'll find a way back to you. All right, so um, happy birthday. Thank you, let's try the camera. <laughs> All right, try the camera. All right, oh, there's Tom. Yay, <laughs> woohoo. <laughs> It's my birthday. Uh, I hope everything is working here. If not, we'll suffer through as you will suffer through as well. <laughs> Hopefully for the duration. It's my birthday. It's been a wonderful birthday. Uh, up until about 10 minutes ago, it, 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 was, it was wonderful. Um, I was hoping that since there was so much of my birthday left, pretty good chunk of time, that I would still get that cowboy hat. That. <laughs> but Regina just said, um, boy, I wanted to get you a cowboy hat. I didn't get a cowboy hat. So, um, so yeah. So um, let's just press on. Thank you all of you. So many wonderful birthday wishes um, pouring in. Really appreciate that. Uh, it, it, it's uh, wonderful to see. This is, of course, a kind of a probationary thing. Uh, let's see how it goes tonight. Um, let's have some fun. So, um, are you still there? I'm still here, yeah. Oh. <laughs> still okay, here. you want to take it back to Gina? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, the, the comments are flying by. I will get to them, hopefully, <laughs> as best I can. And um, we'll see you soon. All right, so hear me out. Hear me out. I went, I tried to get Tom a cowboy hat. I really did. Um, so on Saturday, I, Tom and I went birthday shopping for him, and he wanted just a light spring jacket. And so we went to Macy's, and for some reason, Macy's in Wisconsin <laughs> doesn't have cowboy hats. I, I couldn't believe it. They didn't have a cowboy hat for you, so I apologize. And... Um, I, I will be looking for a cowboy hat. It might just come out of nowhere kind of surprise. You good with that? Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So um, they want to know if we can turn up your volume, Tom. You try to do that. Yeah. So, um, but what I did do when we went to Macy's is Tom got this nice white jacket, a uh, little spring jacket, and I happened to see the clearance rack. So I went over to the clearance rack and I found this shirt. And um, I was really excited about it, and I wore it to work today until I realized that it's pajamas. Did you know that? I wore pajamas to work today. This is not like a sweatshirt. It's actually a pajama top. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I wore today to work. And I thought, oh, I'll wear it for you guys tonight, and it's going to be a... <laughs> it's going to be a, a, a pajama part. That what? <laughs> That is not a cowboy hat. That's oh. the closest thing we have to a cowboy hat in the house. An that, old man in the tomato patch hat. That, I'm sorry, but that's really like a cold shower, I'm that looking, hat. Looking for his bag of peat moss. <laughs> Maybe don't that it's a hat. little more of a... It's a little more of a farmer hat, but all right, whatever. Okay, so tonight we're going to have some fun with a technique. We're going to play with a technique called craft magic. Now, if you've ever watched the black magic technique, it's similar. But tonight I thought that we would have a little bit more, um, a little more of a technique because instead of using a solid image like we did for the black magic technique, we were going to use a line art image. So let me show you the stamp set that I'm going to use tonight. Tonight I'm going to use the Blooming Wild stamp set. I just, the comments, oh my word. <laughs> yes, laughter is the key to a long and happy marriage. I agree. No, it's not like the cowboy in the book, Kathleen. 
<laughs> Carla said that looks like a safari hat. <laughs> he tried. He really tried. That that hat is a cold shower. <laughs> I didn't really try. You didn't try that hard? Okay. So we're going to use this Blooming Wild stamp set. This is a stamp set by Lisa Hetrick. And we're and these are nice, big, open images. But what I love about this stamp set for either the Black Magic or the Craft Magic technique is how thick the lines are around the outside. It's a little harder to do this technique if you're... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing at the comments. He's Amish now. Somebody's. <laughs> um, so we're going to use this a little bit thicker lines you need. And I'm going to use my Misty for this because I'm going to stamp several images at one time here. So, oh my gosh, I am laughing so hard at you guys. You guys are cracking me up tonight. All right. So I've got some of the Gina K designs craft cardstock and I am going to put a little bit of the embossing magic pad on this first now there's a couple of things that you can do if you're not getting a good solid image from your embossing powder you can always stamp your image in white pigment ink before you put the embossing powder on and that gives you a little bit more white color now we can try that I can try that with one of the leaves and I'll show you how it looks but we're going to start with some Versamark, and I'm going to use this image, this image, this image, and this image. So these four right here, and then I'm going to stamp a few extra leaves that we can color. Oh, everybody's coming in. I'm wishing you a happy birthday, Tom. That's so nice. What happy a happy birthday, Jody. Oh, Jody, happy birthday. You share a birthday with Tom? It's awesome. All right. Oh, it's so fun. Everybody is so much fun. I'm so glad to be with you guys. It's been a crazy, crazy week already, and it's only Monday. It's cold and dreary here up in the upper Midwest of Wisconsin. I don't know how you guys are faring down there, but that's what Wisconsin does to us. Uh, it gives us some spring, and then it teases us with a little bit of dreary, almost autumn-like weather right before it really turns into spring. Okay, so I have four images here and the craft magic, I mean, and the craft cardstock, and I'm going to use some Versamark ink. You can use any kind of pigment ink for this, which I will show you. Let's stamp this twice. We'll do once with Versamark, and then we'll do once with the white pigment ink, and we'll see the difference in the embossing. All right, here we go. Let's stamp this, and I'm using my Chucky tool. Invented by my friend Chuck Meadows. If you don't know what that is, Chuck made this for me. It's a furniture curtain finial and a furniture protector pad. And it just helps me glide across my Misty and put some extra pressure on those images. So I did get some new embossing powder here. After a while, sometimes your embossing powder just gets a little old and I make the mistake sometimes of putting too many jars of embossing powder and I can't use it all quite fast enough. So I think from now on, instead of doing four, I'm just gonna do two jars in my little tub. Okay, so I have that one. I think this is gonna work really well actually, but let me get my little paintbrush. So I use a little, a watercolor skinny little paintbrush to brush away any of the excess powder so that it's, you know, it's better to brush it off before you emboss than having to file it off with a uh, mono sand eraser later. Okay, so I'm gonna heat up my heat tool a little bit. Oh, it's sunny in California. It's always sunny in California. I wanna be in California. It's cold in Wisconsin. Okay, so I'm gonna heat this up. And you can see how nice and bright this looks on the craft card stuff. I love white on craft. It's such an elegant look. All right, there we go. Now, before we do the white pigment ink version, because 
I don't want to put the white pigment ink on just yet. I want to stamp a few more leaves on here. So I'm going to stamp them freehand using an acrylic block. There we go. And that same Versamark pad, because I just want a few of these and I don't want to use the Misty over and over again, having to move it. I can just stamp it freehand like that. So I don't know how many of these I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna just make sure that I have four total. Oh, I love, I love this stamp set. It's really fun for me every once in a while to get to use some of the other stamp sets in our collection. And this one I think is one of my favorites. It's called Bloomin' Wild, B-L-L-O-O-M-I-N with the little apostrophe, Bloomin'. Kind of the way a cowboy would say it, Bloomin'. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How you doing, Tom? Doing okay over there? What? I said, "How you doing over there?" I'm doing. You're do <laughs> doing okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Yep. Tom's microphone now, and every once in a while, you'll get to see his face on the camera. Ooh, I see another little thing. See how I've got a couple little dots of embossing powder right there where I don't want them? Again, it's better to get those off now than try to scratch them off later. Okay, so this is going to be plenty of flowers and leaves for my card. But I want to show you if you have any trouble getting a solid embossed image with your white embossing powder, it could be from a variety of things, but one of the things could be, it might even be that the embossing powder is just a little bit old. And if it's a little bit old, one way that you can help it along is by, let's do the embossing magic pad, using white pigment ink because white pigment ink is gonna kind of fill in the cracks a little bit if the embossing powder starts to crackle. So um, we do have dies for the Bloomin' Wild stamp set. Uh, type in Bloomin, B-L-O-O-M-I-N apostrophe instead of blooming. Bloomin', Bloomin' Wild. So I'm gonna just ink these up with white and then we'll give that a nice press. And so this just starts with a nice white undercoat. Press a little harder there. There we go. And then if we put the embossing powder on top of that, it might look a little, not necessarily brighter, but a little more solid. So let's check it out. Because this way, if that powder crackles a little bit, there's white underneath. I'm not seeing a huge difference between these, but I think it's because I have pretty new embossing powder. But we can take a look. Oh, I had some spots there, but I'm not going to be using this flower to color. This was just for comparison's sake. So I think they're both pretty consistent, but that's just a little tip if you're having trouble getting a nice, clean embossed image. Let's do a couple of these leaves using the white. Okay. Let's do one here. So white pigment ink acts just like Versamark. And if you're using white powder, why not put a little white ink under it? It just makes those images a little more solid. Okay. And where'd that paintbrush go? Here it is. Again, just getting that off there. And I wanna get that out of there because I'm gonna be coloring in there. All right, I've got powder everywhere, all over my Misty, but that's all right. It washes off very easily. Right, there we go. Oh yeah, see? I'm going to try to zoom in really close here to show you the difference when you use the white powder under. Let me see how much I can zoom in without getting too blurry. So, Tom, let me know if this looks too blurry. Okay, so look at this one. 
Can you see that like the little bit of dimpling in there? Especially with a fine detail powder, sometimes you get that because it's really meant for fine lines. So, but look at this one. You don't see that as much because the white powder is underneath. Is that visible, do you know? Let's see. Hopefully you can see that. Can you use other colors in pigment ink to emboss? Absolutely you can, absolutely. Um, but the white or even our ivory works really well with white embossing powder because it just fills in those cracks a little bit. And because we only have the fine detail embossing powder, um, you know, and I like that. I like the fine detail embossing powder better because you don't lose all of this detail in the flower. If you used regular embossing powder, this would all swell up and you wouldn't see it. So I like the fine detail powder. It's just sometimes on a thicker line, you see the little bit of dimpling in there because it's a fine detail powder and it's meant for fine lines. Good, good. I'm glad you guys could see that because it's not always easy to see on the lines. Okay, so now let's bring this back. I'm gonna use some of these leaves and I'm gonna use this. So now one thing that you can do when you're working with um, the craft magic is you, you could, if you wanted to, take a white pencil. This isn't exactly white. I don't know where my white pencil went. I think this is, no, it's not white. Um, here it is. Okay, I'm gonna sharpen this. You can take a white pencil and I'm gonna use one of these. You could color white very lightly just to make the inside of the flowers a little whiter. And your colored pencil, if you're using darker colors or more muted tones, will look a little bit brighter this way. Just by laying down that white first, it's almost like you're turning that cardstock underneath white. Don't press too hard and get it too waxy because you wanna be able to color on top of it. And that's also a really pretty look all by itself. It almost makes the images look like white lace. So that's a whole other technique, just coloring inside white embossing, uh, inside white embossing powder with a white pencil but it does allow the color to show through a little bit better. Like I said, if you're using a darker color, let's use, um, let's use this color here. You can see it's not super bright, but when you do it over the white, the color seems to stand out more. You see that a little bit better? It, it seems to pop out just a little bit better. But what we're going to do instead of laying that white layer down, we're going to pick really, really bright colors. And for example, here's a colored pencil that I have in my collection. It's called Sky Blue Light. Now, when I color this on white cardstock, you can't even see it. I don't even know why I have this pencil. This is like just a space filler in my pencil case. That's why it's so long. I, I never use it because I color so much on white. Now, if you're an artist, you probably use this because you know how to create all the shading and everything. Uh, Tracy, you can use any kind of pencil on this, yes, but I recommend a wax-based pencil as opposed to a watercolor pencil. So just a regular colored pencil. Heck, you can even use Crayola pencils if you want. But these kinds of colors are useless to me at, because I'm not an artist, but when you color these on black or you color these on craft, they make a huge difference. So this, is, this technique is also another great way to utilize these super light, weird colors. And I don't mean they're weird, but they're kind of weird. They're just, you know, like this. This is a green. I mean, they all look white to me. So. I'm finding that I'm using them more when I do this technique. So I'm going to use this, um, this colored pencil here. This is called Light Aqua. And this is gonna give us a very, very vibrant look. So I'm gonna try to even zoom in a little more. We'll see, hopefully we won't get too blurry. I can still see pretty clear there. So that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna start by coloring right down here with this light aqua pencil. See how I'm really 
laying down some nice thick color there. Then I'm going to go on top with this sky blue light pencil, one of my weird colors. And I'm gonna color that up at the top. And then I'm gonna come in and color down over that aqua a little bit. And then I'm gonna take the aqua pencil and I'm gonna color back over the sky blue light to create a little bit of shading. And then I'm gonna go back over it again with the aqua. Now I tend to not use Gamsol much when I'm doing this kind of shading. And the reason why is because it gets the cardstock all wet and craft cardstock, our craft cardstock and our colored cardstock is much more porous than our white. So our white, the Gamsol kind of glides over the top, but the color doesn't absorb down into the cardstock. But with these darker colors, like all the other colors, the actual thickness, I'm sorry, the actual texture of the cardstock is more porous. It's not as tightly woven. So by doing the shading just this way and going back and forth between these two pencils and using a lighter hand over the line, you don't even have to like go back and forth and back and forth. You can create this beautiful shading just with a little bit of pencil work like that. And then we're going over this with the light sky blue or light blue sky down into that aqua and then back up with a lighter hand into the sky blue. Yes, Linda, I am <laughs> awake. <laughs> so, who suggested we give him a microphone? <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> I hope you guys are laughing as much as I am. Oh, yeah. It's Tom's birthday today for anybody just joining us. I see like almost, there's almost a thousand more people here than there was when um, I told everybody it was your birthday, Tom. So we have to make the announcement again. It's Tom's birthday today. My young, beautiful husband. <laughs> and uh, we had fun today. Well, we worked today. We had our fun over the weekend. We had a great weekend. And guess what? Our kids snuck into the house today when we were at work and they left a gift for Tom. And so Tom, tell them what you like to do. What's your hobby? One of your hobbies. You have a lot of hobbies. My hobbies. My hobbies. I love to play the guitar. Yep. Ride my bike. Um, I'm a flight simmer. So if you don't know what that is, what is a flight simmer? Well, I fly airplanes on my computer. Yes, he does. And uh, our dear girls bought me a chair for flight simming. Yeah, because Tom was sitting in front of a folding table with his computer on it on like a chair that had like <laughs> one arm and half the seat cushion was missing. <laughs> My daughters took pity on me. They did. <laughs> so they bought him a chair and they snuck in the house today and dropped it off. So when we got home from work, it was all wrapped up and sitting in our living room. It was really sweet. So let me just show you how this is starting to look. Isn't this fun? So you can see, I'm just adding that light blue sky. I call these my weird Prismacolor pencil colors that I rarely use because they don't look like anything on white, but they look great on craft. They also look great on black. Okay. And I tried this technique with the open look on black just to play with it. And I'll show you what it looked like. It actually looked really pretty, but I felt like this was a look that we hadn't really done much of here on Stampin' Chat. So I thought it would be more fun to play with this kind of look. I have to check the mic. You have to check the mic? Yes. Okay. Why is it not loud enough? Uh, it's not loud enough. Maybe I'm just too loud. I have a very loud voice. I'm very obnoxiously loud. I'm not soft-spoken at all. This should be okay. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, so we, uh, we had fun over the weekend. We relaxed on Saturday. 
we just didn't do much of anything. And on Sunday, we, we both kind of worked a little bit, but then we got to see our kids for a little bit. And that was really nice. Okay. So this is taking a little while. I hope you guys don't mind. I know every once in a while I get a comment saying, could you just hurry it up and skip to the end? And, and I get that. Like if it's a regular uh, YouTube video, you can kind of speed things up, but these lives, part of the lives are just, you know, reading your comments and chatting with you guys and just spending time together. So sometimes it, uh, it's just nice that it takes a little longer. I don't know. So I do recommend that you sharpen your pencils as you go. Keep them nice and sharp. This is the I Point Orbit pencil sharpener. I do love this one. It's a great one for travel. So in the summer, Tom and I do a lot of camping and I like to color outside. So I will take this pencil sharpener and a handful of pencils and I will sit out by the campfire throwing things and just color. What are the colors again? So the colors are light sky blue light. I don't know why they called it that sky blue light and light aqua. And the color cardstock I'm using is the Gina K designs craft. And I used our fine detail white embossing powder, which we have a huge order coming to us soon. So hang in there for that because I love our embossing powder. And I do really like the fine detail embossing powder because you don't lose the detail. But to combat any crackling or dimpling, I suggest that instead of using Versamark, do what I did here and use white pigment ink underneath. All right. Yeah, so Tom, if there's any comments out there, you want to read them to me, I will be more than happy to, or questions, I should say, I'll be more than happy to answer. All right. So this is kind of a fun technique too, because for those of you that aren't excited about Gamsol, because I know some of you don't really like using anything that's kind of chemically, this is a great technique for blending your colors together. And if you're watching live and you don't have the sharpest connection and maybe, you know, maybe you struggle to see it very clearly, if you're on YouTube, head over to my community tab after the video because I always post a really crisp, clean picture of my cards, whatever cards I make. And you can see all the, the detail there. And if you're watching on Facebook, because we dual stream, we're on Facebook and YouTube. That's why sometimes you might be on YouTube and you're looking and you're seeing, you know, 900 people there or something. But there's also, you know, another 1,100 over on Facebook or something. So we're dual streaming um, on our Facebook page and also in our Facebook group, Gina K Designs and Stamp TV Friends, I always post high quality photos after the videos so that you guys can see all the detail. And if you ever, you know, I know some people like to take notes, like what colors are you using, which is what pencil is that, but you don't have to worry about that because you can just go to my YouTube channel and find this video and in the description, I put what colors I used if I'm using colored pencils or Copic markers or watercolors. Also, I usually, if I'm doing ink blending, I'll put the color inks that I'm using. So you can see this coming to life here. I really love this technique. This is so much fun. So I hope you guys are all enjoying spring, even if it's cold where you are like it is here. There's something about going outside and hearing the birds. You know, I never realized how loud it is out there with all the everything coming to life. But I remember in the winter really taking note on a snowy day. I guess we were walking Teddy at one time. And I remember saying to Tom, listen to how quiet it is. It's like there is no life. There's nothing. And uh, now, even though it's chilly outside, you just hear all the birds screaming at each other. They're all mad and cold, but they're, they're there. And it's kind of like, it's so hopeful because you know there's no turning back now. It's spring is coming, whether 
whether we're ready or not, it's coming. Now, for my friends that are watching south of the equator, I think you guys are getting ready for your autumn, right? You're heading into autumn. And you guys have just had a wonderful warm summer. And there's a lot of beauty in that as well, that's for sure. So wherever you are in the world, I hope you're enjoying the beauty. Okay. Almost done this flower. So I hope you like the way it's coming out, the shading. Okay. All right, so Tom, why don't you put the camera on you for a second and say something and see if you have better luck with the microphone because I know a few people are trying to, and I'll be done this flower in a minute. What do you think? Want to okay, try that? I'm going to do the front camera. Okay. That's me. Hi. <laughs> and then we're just doing this to check the microphone. Oh, so just when my front, oh, your front camera. Okay. Yeah. So can you guys hear Tom when his front camera is on? Because this is kind of a new thing for us. Yeah. Oh, they can hear? I think the microphone still needs some work. Yeah. Microphone needs some work. Okay. All right. Well, let's go back to the overhead then. And if you can't hear what Tom is saying, I will definitely uh, translate. I can pretty much say whatever I want, can I? Okay, so there's my first flower. <laughs> Lori said, sing a song, Tom. Hey, maybe we could have some background music while I'm coloring. Do you have a guitar close by? <laughs> All right, so Tom will play a little guitar music in the background while I finish up these flowers. These ones are easy to color. And then I'll show you how I'm going to color the leaves. And then we will turn this into a card. So I'm doing all the aqua parts first on this flower. So that one's going to go a little faster. And I'll do all the aqua ones on this flower. You know any cowboy songs? Just kidding. <laughs> I'm really just kidding. <laughs> And then I'm going to add this sky blue light in here. You guys hear the guitar? Mm -hmm. It's so nice. So the sky blue light is going on next. And then I'm going to go back in with the light aqua and blend that color together. Just with a lighter hand. So again, a very simple, easy technique, something that requires no chemical, no blending medium, nothing like that, just your colored pencils. And it also makes use of those light colored, weird colored pencils that a lot of us just look at and say, what would I ever use that for? Okay. And I'm rubbing the pencil over these streaky lines the color is just kind of seeping down into them. Roxanne wants to book you for a gig, Tom. And that means we get to go to Trinidad and Tobago. You good with that? Good with that. <laughs> I'd like to go. Forget him, Roxanne. I'll come. <laughs> no, he would come in a minute. He would love that. All right. So there we go. We love warm weather, beachy climates. Love it, love it. Okay, so there we go. So pretty on the craft, right? All right, so let's work on these leaves. So here's two colors that work really well together. This is light green, Prismacolor so original with their color names, light green. And then this one is chartreuse. So I actually tried this light green and I found it to be very, it, it was very bright, but I wanted a little bit more yellow in there. This is gray green light. And it is a really nice color. It shows up nicely on the craft but this yellow is really fun and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I'll start over here with this one. I'm gonna start down here at the bottom. And again, this one is the light green. 
Okay. All right. Then I'm going to add some of that chartreuse in there. Let me sharpen that. I'm going to just add some of that in there and just work it down into the other green. And even though it's such a light color, I feel like it makes the leaves glow a little bit. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, but do you see that glowiness in there? It just makes them feel like they're almost a little fiery. And then I'm bringing that light green back up into that color. Now those are two colors that I normally wouldn't choose to blend together because it's like, it's like a yellow and then it's like a mint almost. But I think it looks really pretty on those leaves. So I'm gonna do a couple more of those. We'll just cut out, I wanna cut out a few of these to make my bouquet. There's a troll on my birthday. There's a troll? On my birthday. Oh, he probably didn't know. <laughs> Maybe he wouldn't have trolled you on your birthday. <laughs> Music lover. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I let, I'm digging this color combo. I don't know what it is, but I, I really like it together. I feel like it just, it just makes the whole thing stand out a little more. Okay, so I have two of those done. Then I'm gonna work on these two over here that I did with the white embossing powder. So I highly encourage you to try this tonight if you get a chance or tomorrow or next time you sit down in your craft room. Just try it with a little craft because seriously, I don't know what it is, but I'm really having fun with this. It makes me feel a little bit more like an artist too because I'm not leaning on my gam saw like I usually do. I'm just blending right on the craft. The craft is more forgiving than the white, that's for sure. See how quick it blends. Naughty troll. A troll, what's a troll? A troll is somebody that comes onto a YouTube or a Facebook Live and just makes some either really obnoxious comment or tries to sell something, drops a link to something, um, says something inappropriate. And so Tom spends most of his time monitoring for trolls because he wants to keep our lives a really fun, safe place. So sometimes when you guys are, you know, asking questions, if he's missing a question, it's because he's, you know, trying his best to monitor the trolls. And you might not see the troll because, like I said, we dual stream. So there might be a troll on Facebook. And if you're on YouTube, you wouldn't see it and vice versa. Okay. So there are my leaves, all glowy and my flowers. Aren't they pretty? Love it. Okay, so now it's time to cut these out and we're gonna create a pretty little card out of all of this. Okay, so I have, ooh, that is really close. Jeepers, let's back up a bit here. Okay, welcome, welcome everyone. It's great to see you. People are still coming in and joining us on this live. Um, there will be a replay, of course, if you missed anything. You can always catch the replay. Okay, now the Blooming Wild stamp set, Bloomin' Wild, I wanna make sure you guys know it's Bloomin, uh, has a complete die set that you can purchase. It's a big one too. It's got lots of good dyes in it. So I'm gonna use some of these dyes to cut out these flowers. Let's see here. There we go. Did I nail that? No. Yeah, maybe. Does that look right? I don't know. I have to twist it a little bit to make sure. I think it was right, but that looks right too, you know? Okay, I think that looks better. Boy, they're all so similar. Lisa, you drew the stamp sets. Oh, that's it right there, that's it. You drew the stamp set, so they're very similar, but not all the same. You can tell Lisa just draws things freehand. <laughs> so pretty, I love it. 
Okay, I'm gonna use a little tape to make sure that this stays down where I want it to be. There we go. Does that look good? Oh goodness, I just shifted it. Okay, I think that looks good. Praying I have it right. Because that was a lot of work to cut her out. Now, if you have, if, I'm going to just show you a quick trick. If you have trouble with this, let me show you another way that makes it easier for you to see, okay? What I'm going to do here, I'm going to get a piece of, a small piece of white cardstock, okay? And I'm going to cut that same die. Where did it go? Here it is. I'm going to cut that same die out of white because this is a good trick. And I think it helps me more than I realize and I don't use it enough. We do not sell the pencils online, but you can get the pencils at your favorite big box store, your local store, your local craft store, or any of the big online stores have them. So I twist this until it looks right. See, that doesn't look right to me. So I'm just gonna keep moving this around. You're gonna know, as soon as you see it, you're gonna know because the border is gonna get very even all the way around. And of course we can, you, there we go. See, see how even the border got all of a sudden? Now you know that that die is in the right position. So now I wanna tape that down so that it's in the right position. Now we've gotta find the right position on this die and we want it to drop in and snap in. Once it drops in and snaps into place, you're gonna feel it snap into place and that's gonna cut out exactly where you want it. Now, if you wanna be extra safe, you can tape it down just to be really safe. I think that's in, right? Yeah, feels right. I hope it's right. Okay, I'm praying. Here we go, let's cut it out and see what happens. Oh my word, the stress. <laughs> Who's Mark? Okay, so you can see now we gotta pull that off. That's not a perfect cut, but that's pretty good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and cut the rest of these out. I can reuse this purple tape. Okay. Very relaxing. So you can tape these down. These are easy to see. I like the craft edge instead of the stark white edge too. It's kind of fun. And I know I'm only I'm only cutting one at a time. And I know that could, that frustrates some people. Like, why don't you cut a whole bunch of them at the same time? I do sometimes, but when I'm doing the lives. It's so easy to mess it up if things shift. So I try not to mess it up too much because I don't have a lot of time to redo it while I'm live and I wanna be able to finish the card. Okay. So there we go. Yeah, I agree. The music is relaxing, isn't it? Okay. That one. And now, of course, I have to do four leaves of the same. Oh, you're Mark. Hey, Mark. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you. All right. There we go. There's that one. Let's see how this lays out. Oh, this is going to be pretty. I'm excited for this card. All right. We're going to cut these out. So if you want to hear Tom sing, and if you haven't heard him sing before, if you go over to my YouTube channel and you type in anniversary song, Tom surprised me on, was it our 20, our 30th, our 30th anniversary. So that was five years ago. He surprised me. I was asleep. And when, when you have a YouTube channel, 
if you set your notifications on, when people make comments on your video, you get a notification so you can go over and see what they said. So um, I was asleep and all of a sudden my phone started going off like crazy. And uh, I was like, what is going on? Did like somebody share my video and my video's blowing up? I hadn't even posted a video. And it was Tom had posted an anniversary song that he wrote for me on my YouTube channel. So if you want to hear him sing and play, you can go over to my YouTube channel and type in, you can type in Gina K anniversary song and that will come up on YouTube. And you can hear him sing. <laughs> you can't get sound on YouTube or Facebook, Veronica? Wow, on both YouTube and Facebook? I wonder if you've got something muted somewhere that you don't realize, because I do that sometimes. That happens to me a lot, especially on my phone. So I saw somebody ask if they could use, so, was it solar white, did they ask about? Um, or anything other than solar white. So I don't use solar white. I use the Gina K Designs white cardstock when I craft. Um, we also have another kind of cardstock. We have our artist choice. If you like coloring with pencils without Gamsol, that works really nicely. It's also good for Copic markers. If you like more of a bleed, that's called artist choice. Um, but you can try this with any cardstock you have. I mean, there's no need to run out and buy new cardstock. Just give it a try with what you have and see how it works. It's only cardstock, right? So you can always, you've seen me toss pieces of cardstock across my desk <laughs> in a frenzy. <laughs> okay, so this is the last of the leaves. Yeah, that's a good idea. If the sound isn't working for you, Rosalie said go out and come back in and see if that changes it. Because sometimes it does. Sometimes it's something as simple as that. Okay, so let's cut out uh, something. We'll, we'll cut out something using the Master Layouts 2 dies. So I'm going to use this die. This is the stitch die from Master Layouts 2. I'm going to cut that out. It is really nice listening to Tom play, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it definitely is, Lisa. It's great to hear him sing. Um, Tom and I played music together for years on the road. Okay, so there's my card base. And I might do something a little fun to that just to jazz that up. And then I'm going to cut out one of these. This is the plain rectangle from the Master Layouts 2. I'm going to cut this out using just a plain white piece of cardstock. So this is one of those cards that's not going to have any black on it. How will I live? <laughs> right, you guys? You guys know I have black on every card. But I'm, I'm going without it because tonight we're going to, we're going all craft. Craft and white. So that's going to look nice together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I have this hello die. And I'm sure a lot of you have this one. This was one of our first dies, word dies that we released. So I'm going to just rip these ends off here. I'm going to lay this on its back. And I'm going to cut it so it's blade side up. And I'm going to cut it out using some white cardstock here. I like to do these upside down because I feel like they cut better that way. You just get a nice, a nice smooth cut. Yes, Tom and I played music on the road for our first 10 years of marriage. We were musicians and uh, it was a lot of fun. We met playing music when we were 15. We played a band together in Philadelphia. Good old Philly. That's where we're both from. Well, that was, I just dropped that and bent it a little, but that's all right. That should still look good. So there's the hello die. Isn't that a fun die? I love that. Okay. So I think we're going to need a couple more things because I want to ground my flowers on something. So I think that what I'm going to do is, since I have this layout here, I could continue with the master layouts and I could cut out 
a small rectangle out of craft cardstock. Let's try this. This was not in my this was not my intention at all, but I think I'm going to to go with it anyway. So we'll see how it looks. And I think I want to do something to distinguish the background a little bit too. Danielle, you're 20 minutes from Philly. Where? 20 minutes from Philly. I was 20 minutes from Philly too. So I'm wondering if we were even closer than we think. All right, I'm gonna get another piece of white cardstock here. That's where it all started in Philly, you're right. <laughs> it all started back in Philly. So our kids told us um, that they watched the Rocky movie for the first time the other night. The first time watching the Rocky movie. <laughs> I don't know how I'm reading 1.6. You know, I don't know how many people are on there. We've got total between both platforms about close to 2,700 people. Um, and I don't know what it is. I just look up once in a while and see comments. Okay, so that's going to be my little centerpiece. So let me put this aside. 20 minutes from Philly. Oh, but in New Jersey. Okay, okay. I li We lived in Jersey too. Tom, where did we live in New Jersey? Summers Point. Yeah, Summers Point, New Jersey, we lived in for a while. So Jersey is like Philly. It's kind of all right there. All right, so I'm going to do just a little wood graining on this craft. But instead of doing... Um, like a dark color, I'm gonna do, I think, a lighter color on it. So we're going to do half inch planks because this is a three and a half inch across the top, across this way. So we'll start at the three inch mark, then we'll go to two and a half, two, one and a half, one, and then I can't get in there, so I'm gonna flip it and do the three inch mark again, okay. So I think I'm gonna add just a real light dusting of color here. Let me just grab a scrap piece of paper so you can see this a little bit better. Everybody yells at me because they use good paper, but I want you guys to be able to see it. So let me zing in here. We have another troll, Tom. Quaker Town, we have somebody from Quaker Town, awesome. Redding, okay. So I'm gonna take this white ink here and I'm just gonna do a little bit of streaky, kind of like a whitewash look. That slipped a little, that's okay. I'm gonna be hiding some of that anyway. There we go. So some whitewashed boards. There we go. It's kind of fun, right? There we go. Once this all dries up, it should look pretty good. Now, white takes a while to dry. So what you can do is, do I not have paper towels in here? Oh my goodness, I guess I don't. So let me see why I don't have a paper towel. Oh, Tom's gonna get me a paper towel. What I'll do is I'll use my heat tool a little bit to just pre-dry it. <laughs> Soda not pop, subs not hoagies. What? <laughs> Is that the difference? I don't know. I've seen a lot of hoagies in Jersey. I love a good hoagie. If you've never had a hoagie, a hoagie is like a sub, but it's a Philly one. All right, so I'm just going to take my paper towel here, and I'm just going to rub it to blend it a little bit and it's gonna actually pull some of that white ink off, but it's gonna make it really look whitewashed. We're doing all kinds of techniques here tonight. Have I have tape runners, yes. I have tape runners. I had notes on my door at work from people that work with me. Don't forget your tape runners. So isn't that pretty? I love that. It's just really soft. Okay. All right. So now we're going to assemble this together here. We're going to 
put this panel onto this white panel. Hey, the music stopped. <laughs> Tom's picking up his guitar again. He had to go get the paper towels for me. All right, and I'm putting that on the white layer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a white card base for this. No, I'm going to use a craft card base for this. So let me find a piece of craft. I know I have more. And I'm going to cut it on my big paper cutter, which is way over here. So just give me a sec. Okay. And then I'm going to score this. This is... 11 inches by four and a quarter inches. Oh, my friends are coming from all over the East Coast. Sellers Grove. I know where all those places are. New York City. Spent a lot of time in New York City. Tom and I used to take the train up to New York City just to go hang out. I love New York. And my daughter lived in New York. Now, you see how that wood grain just makes it pop out a little bit more from the back. I mean, I feel like you need something to look a little bit different. All right, and then we'll put that onto that craft card base. Okay. Now this is gonna be our grounding panel. And what I mean by that is this is where we're gonna put our little floral display and we're going to add our word. Okay, so, and it's going to overlap. It's all going to overlap and hang off of this, but this just gives us, you can see I used an old piece of craft. That probably makes a lot of people happy because they see me waste cardstock, and I know they don't like that. I'm sorry. I'm awful. Okay, so this panel is just going to go right in the center there, and by whitewashing those, that, those boards, it just has a whole dimension in there that we needed. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now it's time to lay out our flowers. Put one flower here. I'm not exactly sure what I wanna do with this yet. So I think, Might do something like this. You gotta play with it a little to make sure that it's what you like. It's my nails that are in the way, that are not in the way. And also I remember I wanna extend up over that so we can put a little leaf coming out of here in here and then we can do one coming out of the top here we can even add one down here and then we can pop that hello die I think I'm gonna get rid of this one and we can do that hello right over it like that so you know we don't have to use this one we can just go with the two see what you guys like. Sometimes you have to play with it and just see what works. I kind of like the simplicity of that. Or maybe even having another one coming out of this side. And overlapping. Like that. Whatever we decide to do, that's pretty. You guys like that? I think that's fun. So I think that's a very simple layout. Now, one thing that I tell people to do a lot, and if you're just tuning in for the first time with me, this is kind of a good tip. Um, what I tell people to do is to just pull your camera up on your phone and then take a quick picture of the layout. This way you can have that picture up on your phone and you will remember how you laid it out and how you liked it. So if it gets knocked around, it doesn't look right to you, you know, you can go back and you can redo it. So let's start by putting the leaves down. I always like to put the leaves down first and I like to tape them straight on to the card. Okay, so we'll add that leaf there. And we'll add this leaf on this side. 
then we're going to overlap these two. So we'll put this one down first, get that in there. And then this one's going to kind of go over it like that. Okay, so now that we have the leaves where we want them, now we can pop up the rest of this using some foam squares. And actually, I think instead of popping the whole thing up, I'm going to put these pieces right onto the card and just pop up that middle flower. I think that's gonna be the best way. And then we'll just pop that one up right on top. Okay, so I'll use a couple of foam squares on this. We going over a little, that's all right. It's not network TV, we can do whatever we want. Okay. And then we pop this one right on there where we want it. There we go. And now this, I can use connect glue and I can glue it right onto the card. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use some connect right on the back of this hello. And yeah, it's gonna be, you know, it's kind of go over peaks and valleys here because I have a lot of layers, but that's okay. I still think it's gonna look okay. I just wanna make sure it's nice and secure. So I'm just putting little dots of connect glue all over this. I'm sticking to it, so I have to be careful. Sometimes I'll make these thicker by cutting two or three of them out and gluing them together first. And that makes them a little more rigid but I think this will be just fine this way. There we go. And we'll just let that glue dry underneath. And the areas that I put glue under here and it didn't stick, that's okay. It'll just dry and it won't be a problem at all. So there is my finished card for tonight's card, Craft Magic. A little bit of craft cardstock. <laughs> so remember, the replay will be available on YouTube. If you're on the YouTube channel right now, I would love it if you would. Um, what is happening to this hair here? I don't even get this tonight. Okay, there we go. Um, I'd love it if you would subscribe to the video, like the video. That always helps. And if you want to hit the little notification bell on my channel, you will always be the first to know when a live is scheduled or when, um, when I go live or I post a video. If you're on Facebook, join our group, Gina K Designs and Stamp TV Friends. It's a lot of fun over there, and we would love Love to have you as a member. Very supportive group. It's a private group, so you have to answer a couple questions to join, but then you can join us for all the fun. So Tom, let's see you. Tom's going to show his face. Happy birthday, Tom. Thank you. Thank you for all the birthday love. We'll get this all worked out. So um, it's yeah. only going to get better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for joining us. Um, Back to you. Yeah, and thanks for playing guitar. It was fun to have you play some music tonight. That was really nice. Well, since I bought pajamas, didn't realize I bought pajamas, I'm actually all ready for bed. I can just go fall into bed. And, <laughs> and what are you wearing to bed tonight, Tom? <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Closest thing to a cowboy. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. We'll be back on Thursday for a lunchtime live. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy. Love you all so very much. And we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.